Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to take a look at how to uh, add uh, content to fields in a file geodatabase using SQL for ArcGIS Pro. It's a wonderful new add-in for Manifold for uh, uh, Esri's uh, outstanding uh, ArcGIS Pro JS uh, package. Uh, and this is basically a, a response to uh, a user in on Reddit who wanted to know how to uh, uh, add content to uh, records. Uh, we had like 300 records in a pipes database and it doesn't want to do each, each and every one of them manually. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a, a folder here, a feature class called Pipes. And uh, what this is, is this is taken from the uh, Naperville Gas uh, example that a lot of people use for uh, ArcGIS Pro. So it's a GDB. And if we open up, I'm going to right click here on Pipes to open up the attribute table. And if we take a look at that, we can see that the uh, Pipes layer has a bunch of attributes. And what we're going to do is we're going to add three new fields. We're going to add new fields called Pipe Type, Source, and Diameter. And the first two are going to be uh, text fields, end of our current text fields. And the last one is going to be an N32 text field. And uh, then we're going to populate those uh, fields for each of the records with uh, values that, uh, you know, the user wanted to use. So uh, we're going to use the uh, add-in for that. And to launch the add, I'm going to click add-in here. And in the add-in ribbon, you can see here, open SQL. We're going to click uh, click open, and that's going to launch the add-in, SQL for ArcGIS Pro. Uh, this is all SQL, by the way, which will work in Manifold Release 9 as well, since they both use the uh, same Radian uh, database engine. And uh, first thing I'll do is you can see that when ArcGIS, uh, uh, SQL for ArcGIS Pro launches, it automatically has all the GDBs uh, that are used in the ArcGIS Pro project. It loads them automatically, and here it has a uh, starter template. Uh, we can double-click open the pipes table, so you can see here's the pipes table that's in ArcGIS Pro. If I call ArcGIS Pro back, because we're having two sessions open here. Notice that I closed the attribute table for uh, the pipes. I don't want that open because um, ArcGIS Pro has some limitations to it. And one of them is that uh, if you have attribute tables open, then geoprocessing tools in the toolboxes won't work correctly and so forth. And that also applies to SQL for Arc. So we close that attribute table. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, uh, open window for uh, SQL for ArcGIS Pro. And what I want to do is I want to use the alter table command uh, because then uh, Full SQL, you can actually alter the structure of tables using SQL. And the alter table command, which uh, I've, I have in an off-screen off uh, version of a notepad, is, is right there. And the syntax is very simple. Alter table, and here's the name of the table. And to that, we can have uh, uh, statements like add field name and type, add field name and type, and add field name and type. We're going to add fields called pipe type, source, and diameter. The first two are going to be NVAR CARA, that's text fields. And the, and the second one is going to be N32, that's a numeric type. By the way, this syntax here for referring to tables in uh, geodatabases is there because, uh, you know, uh, you can't assume that pipes, uh, uh, that the pipes layer is in one particular database. It could be in, any, any, it could be in many of them. And uh, SQL for ArcGIS Pro can open a whole lot of databases. And, and the way to remember that, if you can't remember them, what the name of it is, is you just uh, double click on it right here where it appears in the uh, schema pane and you can see that it automatically adds to that. So to run this uh, query here, if you look in the pipes table here, let's, so let's we, we have that open in the pipes table open window here, you can see there are no those, there are not those three fields. But when I run the query by clicking the run button, uh, it uh, instantly adds those uh, three fields to the table. And there you can see there they are, pipe type, source and diameter. So now let's populate them, and to populate them, we're going to use the update statement. And again, I'm going to copy that off the screen. I'm going to paste it in here. And we're going to update the pipes table by setting the pipe type field to conduit, the source field to drawing, and the diameter to uh, 12. Uh, the first two, because there are text values, have to be set off by quotation characters. And you can use single quotes, double quotes, or uh, back ticks, the way uh, MySQL does it. So pretty much any any style of uh, you know quoting a text will work that are, that are popular through that various different databases. SQL and, uh, for ArcGIS Pro handles all, uh, handles all of those. So to update this, we just click right here, click Run, and that'll run the query. Uh, the uh, file databases are a little bit slow. If this is a faster uh, uh, database, for example, Oracle or uh, uh, something like that, this would have happened instantly. And that was uh, 3,652 records. And if we take a look at the uh, table here, we need to refresh that to uh, refer to add the new fields because that'll go back into the geodatabase and you can see now we've not only added the three types uh, three new fields pipe type source and you can see the tooltip telling you what type it is and diameter but we've also populated each of them with the uh, these field values that uh, uh, that we that we specified in the uh, update command so it's that easy and uh, okay let's go back here to arc I can I can move this out of the way or 
Uh, let's just uh, click on the uh, Arc session here in the uh, uh, status bar uh, for our Windows. And uh, now uh, the bad news is uh, when we add, when we change schemas and tables uh, for ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Pro won't recognize them. If we do something like uh, we refresh the table, uh, the attributes table, or we refresh the database or something like that, ArcGIS Pro doesn't actually refresh it. So to uh, update that, what we need to do is we need to remove that. And then here in the Map um, tab, we add the data again. And uh, let's add that Pipes layer again. And that will be refreshed. Uh, that's just a quirk of ArcGIS Pro, which uh, I think uh, a lot of Esri users are already familiar with. So if I right-click the Attribute table now, open it up, uh, you can see down here that we've added three new fields. And those three new fields have the uh, layers in them. Now, it's true that you can use the uh, design uh, fields uh, uh, fields uh, pane to add uh, uh, new field types to uh, ArcGIS Pro, and you could even put a default in them. But th the nice thing about doing it in, Arch in, in SQL is that you can do a whole bunch of them at once way easier than you can by uh, uh, manually poking around with buttons in the dialog. So it's that quick, it's that easy. And uh, this is this is pretty trivial SQL, but what you can see here, uh, you can see that SQL for ArcGIS Pro allows you to work with real SQL uh, with ArcGIS Pro, and it allows you to actually manipulate uh, tables in, in the GDB and to uh, add fields to change those fields and to do all these other sorts of uh, uh, data definition types uh, things uh, that real SQL enables you to do. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial, five minute tutorial. It's actually running a little more than five minutes, but uh, that's cool. Uh, and uh, give it a try. Uh, uh, buy a copy of SQL for ArcGIS Pro. It's very inexpensive and it adds a whole lot of functionality. It's just amazing what you can do in SQL. Uh, and uh, coupling that with Arc is just a wonderful combination. Thanks for watching and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. If you'd like to see more, visit us at sqlforarc.com. Remember, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Thanks for watching.